Hello everyone and let's get start with the FPJ. In this tutorial we are going to write our first hello world program which will just connect a switch with the LED. In the ISE create on file new project name selector destination where you want to save your project and name your project like I am giving EX01. Here you need to select your board specification. Uh, in my case, I am using Spartan 6 Nexus 3 board, uh, which holds XC6 SLX16 a device package CSG324 and minus 3 speed. These are the configurations that are required. Synthesis tool XST iSIM for simulator and preferred language VHDL. You can select here Verilog or VHDL. I'm going to demonstrate with the VHDL. So click on next. You just uh, need to ch uh, check all your configurations and click finish. The ISC will automatically create a project for you which will be empty. So here you can see your device configuration which is totally empty. Now click on new uh, and new source. Here you can select different type of source files. I am going to select VHDL module. So you ne need to name. I am giving EX01 underscore main. Here you need to select the devices you are uh, going to use. I am going to use a one LED and uh, in case of output mode you can select the direction from here in or out or in out i'm going to select uh, out one is sw which is just for a switch which will be remain input if we want to uh, select multiple outputs and inputs as an array we can check this bus checkbox but we are only using one LED and one switch so uh, these checkbox will remain unchecked click on next and finish here you will see your default auto generated code which is not but uh, the two definitions of the port you selected uh, remember that you just mentioned that uh, here is the name uh, the LED is your your given name you can give any name to this so this is user defined name of a variable LED which will be uh, used as STD logic out and SW is also a user defined name which will be used as STD logic for input so we have not yet selected which of the output port or input port or actual uh, the FPJ spin will be connected to this so here in this file we are not going to add those definitions we are doing it later so stay connected here we are writing over actual code which is nothing but but to connect the LED with the SW1 so LED is equal to SW1 that's our total code and uh, all I am going to do this now is first of all select this file in the design window you can see different options first of all click on synthesis if this goes green it means your synthesis process is clear next if it shows error like this it says that XST is failed. You can go up and check the error. It is saying that SW1 is not declared in line 41. So go and check your line 41. We had defined SW and uh, written SW1. So this is the error. Just Say, uh, correct, correct your error and go back and click again on synthesis once everything will be completed you will see a green checkbox like this next you need to implement the design before implementing a design you need to create a new uh, VHDL file uh, sorry constraint file so to uh, 
set a constraint file all you can do is uh, user constraints io pre planning double click on this it will ask you to say yes click on yes and this will open a plan ahead window you can let it complete once everything is done it will open up a path planning window just close this box you can see here the uh, internal configuration of the package here is your device and RTL schematic and SW is connected to the LED so ignore everything and come to the uh, come down to the IO ports here you can see uh, select your L MOS configurations you can set here the 33 LV MOS of 33 so click on save you can close this plan ahead window now if you come back here you will see a plus sign here click on this plus sign and you will see a UCF file these are the constraint file where you are going to actually define your uh, actual uh, define your uh, switch and LEDs which are connected to the hardware pins so what are I'm going to do is to say net quotes LEDs and I'm going to say that come back to the manual and here you can see LED uh, U16 V16 U15 V15 these are all the LEDs and these are the switches uh, which is the positive and negative slide switches and here we have a bunch of buttons I am going to connect the slide switch and T10 so I am going to use the T10 and V16 the first switch and the second LED so what we need to do now is to lock this uh, with the a respective pin that we mentioned which is for LED is V16 so I am just going to say that V16 remember here two things that the user defined name is provided under the double quotes and the pin number is provided without any quotes uh, so the next thing is SW and again we are going to lock it down with the pin that we selected which is the t10 so here i'm going to write the t10 so once everything is done uh, come back to your uh, main file uh, actual the vsdl file select this from the hierarchy of implementation make sure that your view is the implementation and now come back down where you click on the synthesis now uh, click on the implement design so before uh, running the implement design you need to finish the synthesis process and uh, you need to make sure that your constraint file is present so that you can implement your design once this process is done you are ready to generate your programming file which will be uh, directly dumped into your uh, fpga so uh, you need to wait down for this process it will, it will take some time once it's complete you need to click on the generate programming file it will create a binary file uh, for you to uh, dump into the uh, fpga board so once it's complete we will go to the adapt for programming over nexus 3 board so just uh, wait it down for it uh, to complete once it's finished uh, all three green it means you are ready to program your uh, program into the uh, FPJ. So you open up the Digiland Adapt software to program this. If you connected your board, it will automatically select, uh, select it in, in the connect drop down menu. And uh, for here, you need to browse your file, test main, and uh, all you have to do is to click the program and it will be uh, going to program your device and once everything is finished you can see your actual output on the fpga like this